Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with a game called Ultimate Zombie Defense 2. Honestly, I've never played Ultimate Zombie Defense, but apparently it's been out for quite some time. Now, I believe this game is in early access, and I think there is a the potential for playing multiplayer, but I think you can also do single player as well. So I am going to check this game out. Now, let's see. I don't know what the skill tree is about. I'm just checking this out, see what we've got here. I guess this is what you can start off as, as an engineer, or a scavenger, or a slayer, which is not available yet. So I guess these are just pretty much your two choices. I'm not sure if I should just stick with this. It looks like I've got more stuff available to me. Let's just go with it, whatever the default is. go ahead and play uh, it's like it's go ahead and create a private game I'm not playing multiplayer because oh wait a minute we do have solo play very good I'm not the I don't enjoy multiplayer because then you kind of can be at the mercy of the other people plus a lot of times people will just kill you <laughs> just for, for giggles all right let's see we are at the Airport terminal, we just need to survive. Difficulty medium. Let's see. We can select other maps. We've got airport terminal. Cemetery. Medium difficulty. The bridge. Medium difficulty. We don't have anything easy? <laughs> I guess not. Let's see. Game mode. Just survive. Just survive. No building. Defend the objective. So we're just going to go with survive for now. We are on easy. Oh, well, I guess we'll just do the airport terminal. There's just me, which at this point I think would be better to do. Sounds like the start of the Bigfoot game, honestly. Now I think this is going to have aspects of most multiplayer online games, massive multiplayer online games, but this one does have the ability to play solo, which is something I honestly prefer. Try not to get killed, okay? That means this is going to be tough, <laughs> even with easy mode. Alright, it does take a little bit of time for the game to load, but I will say the music here... Honestly, I'm just going to turn the music off, because honestly, I don't know that it's not copyright. Okay, apparently I've got incoming. Kill all zombies to survive, alright. Okay, we're getting a little bit of lag here. Open for a thousand dollars. Oh, hello. Well, he's a little harder to kill than I thought he would be. As usual, headshots count. So I can't get over that barrier unless I have a thousand dollars. 
There's a dude. Ooh, I took her hate off. P for upgrades, huh? Let's see, we've got... Turret damage, turret damage. I'm not sure what the heck that's supposed to do. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. But in this one, we're just trying to survive. So we can't get... We're not going anywhere. We're just trying to take out the zombies. Okay, can we get out this way? No. Oh, we can't put defenses up, huh? So we can do a spike there, parakeet. We can do landmines, sandbags, tank trap, barbed wire. Now that's interesting. That's cool. And let's see. Chain link fence, landmines. That should slow them down. I hear him. Oh, where'd he come from? That is slowing them down. I don't like the fact that they can come up behind you. Okay, B to build defenses. Well, the barbed wire helped some, slowed them down. What the heck happened to him? What? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> it's some strange stuff going on. Well, let's see what we can do about building defenses. I've got plenty of cash, so it's not a big deal right now. Let's see. It's B. All right. Well, they came in through here. They came in through here. And they can come in through these two areas. So I think what I'm going to do is... Can I rotate it? Let's see, we've got flammable barrel. Can't put that there. Tank trap? No. Landmines? Yep, can't use that. Oh, not enough time. Shoot. Well, we need to keep our back to this so we can try to... I wish this could... Hold on. I'm going to check our 
graphics here because it seems like I can't turn very fast. Light quality high, texture quality back. Let's see. Game. Gun field of view, target. No. Let's see. Ah, uh, shoot. Dang, got it. Harder and harder. <laughs> Didn't slow him down much. Purchase new weapons. Rearm it. Arm ammo box. What ammo box? Oh. So. How do I do it? Purchase at. E? P? No, that's not it. I don't know, understand. Oh, rearm for 200. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here, guys. Let's see. Repair all your items. Let's see. Oh, don't get much time to figure things out. Alright, let's see if we can't get up some better cover here. Yeah, they're getting faster, too. Well, I died for the first time, which I'm not surprised. I survived three rounds, which was pretty bad. 29 headshots. So somebody got... 150, which I guess is really good, but yeah, I couldn't figure out how to change the, the weaponry. That's the only thing. Skill tree. I don't... Let's try the scavenger. See if that's a little different. Yeah, the only problem I have with this is that I don't... 
it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to do <laughs> very easily. Like, how do I change my weapon? How do I... I didn't give me time to even figure that out. I'll try this one more time as this particular type of character. Buy some armor. How? How do you buy armor? <laughs> That's my question. How do you do it? I guess the point is is to that see how long you last. I mean, it seems fun. I think it's just a matter of figuring out. They need to have a tutorial. I hate games that don't have a tutorial that walk you through, okay, you do this to do that. You do this to do that. A lot of times in these early access, they don't have that. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm just saying I, they need to make certain you know what you're doing. And I'm not a big first-person shooter game person anyway. So, okay, now one thing I really want to do is do something about this mouse sensitivity. See, build mode, rotate building, right, rotate left, place building, repair mode, sell mode, repair all, zoom out, zoom in. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. Look sensitivity. That's kind of what I want. Let's see if we take it two times. That doesn't help. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Sensitivity on it. I want to be able to whip around and get to what I'm looking at quickly. Much better. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, here, there's one. I'm trying to figure out where they're coming in at. Okay. See, I'm already getting better. In fact, I could even go more sensitive than that. Okay, B to build defenses. Let's see, what could we put on their defenses here? We did barbed wire. That should help a little bit there. Let's see if we can't put a flood light over here. That'll light things up a little bit. And... Right, right, right there. Sandbags, we'll put those right there. There. There, that should slow things down just a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I'm getting the hang of this, guys. I'm getting the hang of this. Just takes a little bit. And I think, in fact, I might even set the sensitivity up just a little bit more than that.
Set to 250. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, I was sitting there constantly having to move my mouse around in a certain special way. But yeah, they have to get over by our bar. They have to get past the chain link fence. Slow your hairy butt down. Yeah, he's trying to get in. B to dual defenses again. Okay, what could we put up here? Wooden spikes? Oh, good golly. Wooden spikes are always good. Shoot. Well, we'll try this. So I can't put any landmines. That ought to slow him down a little bit. Now, is there a way to change my weapon or get a better weapon? Let's enter. How do I purchase new weapons? That's my question. What do I have to press? Let's hang back here and see. Hey, I made it a little bit further this time. Let's see, is there any way for me to get... How do I get new weapons? Okay, options. Controls. Display.
And it doesn't tell you really the controls. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Let's see. Move left, move right, move backward. Use primary, use secondary. Reload, interact, equip one, equip two. Flashlight, F. P, shop, that's what I want. Oh, okay, so there's team upgrades, there's defenses, there's towers. Ah, oh, ammo regeneration. Max health, turret damage, defenses, slow down zombies. Oh, so these are just upgrades. <laughs> Nothing about weaponry. Ammo regeneration. Max health. That might be good. Ammo regeneration. I don't know what turret damage does. Let's see. Defenses. Slow down zombies. Okay, this can be worse than the last wave, that's for sure. Trying to figure this thing out. I don't know. Can't get any other weapons, that's the problem. Where the hell did you come from? came in okay he came in through the walls guys that should have been a safe zone <laughs> I survived three rounds again Yeah, this is definitely a game that you could definitely do better with more people. Yeah, it's tough, guys. This is really tough. They need to explain things a little bit better. That's my only thing. This would be really good if they would explain things. Well, there's also Defend the Objective. Or just survive no building. We're going to try one more time, guys, just to keep this interesting. We're going to go to... I think we're going to go to the cemetery this time. No building. Probably not going to last as long, but... At least I kind of have an idea what I'm doing here. All right. Here's the armor. Kill all zombies to survive. There's no building here. We are just trying to live. I just want to live. Okay. A barrier open for a thousand dollars. Well, that actually could come in useful. Didn't take too long to get. Yeah, and they can come up behind you. That's what gets me.
He's down. I don't know how to purchase new weapons. Yeah, let's go someplace new. Maybe we can survive a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna go this way. At least now we got some place we can run. Yeah, we can open that for a thousand. Yeah, I saw something over here that looked kind of interesting. I'll purchase Brain Buster? That's a perk machine, huh? Ah, thank you. So that's where the weapons are. Well, while there's only one zombie, I'm going to take a look around a little bit. Because apparently some of these things you have to go up. Like I went up to here. A pump action. All right, that's what I want. Now I know how to do it. See, they don't tell you this stuff. Better weapon. Ah, yes. Mucho better, mucho better. Okay, we can't go that way. Viper, nine millimeter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Double kill. Now we're talking. Bite it. <laughs> now we just opened up another place. Let's see if we can't. This now it's getting now it's getting fun. Now I know what I'm doing. And plus you can kind of tell where they are cuz they mark them. Double kill. Double kill. <laughs> okay guys, this is starting to get fun. Now that I figured it out. That was my problem. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, Persic Phoenix, whatever that is. Yeah, the shotgun made all the difference. All the difference. I'm just kind of running around seeing what we've got available to us here. Okay, that's another barrier. Okay, that's the ammo box. Okay, that's not anything new. Oh, this is this is starting to get fun. This is Yeah, I don't think this is a bad game. Like I said, they needed a tutorial. <laughs> Give me a tutorial. I like tutorials. Tutorials tell me how I'm supposed to do stuff. 
Yeah, I can't get through the barriers without, without killing some more zombies. But I think I might actually survive longer this time, guys. Now that I know what I'm doing. And I know where the zombies are. Doi. Okay. Let's... Can't rearm. I guess I already did that. Uh, we're going to get a lot more zombies here shortly. Yeah, let's open this one up. Titan revolver, huh? Bite it. Double kill! Ha ha ha, yes! Like I said, this has actually gotten to be fun now. Grab a frag grenade. Okay, how do we get to the grenades? Let's see, options. Let's see, controls. Quick grenade. G. Okay. That should be fun. So G is for the grenade. I gotta try that. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Now, like I said, mystery box. Oh, should we? Oh, wow. What the heck was that? Zombie that's on fire. Okay, we need to head on, and they, they're making me dizzy or something. Watch out for special zombies, huh? I got them all. Wasn't easy, but I got them all. I don't know what the mystery box did. I thought I'd get some kind of a new weapon, but nothing changed. Okay, let's see here. Oh, shoot. Well, I shouldn't have done that. I was just stuck with the shotgun. Five rounds that time, guys. Gotten a lot better. That was a lot more fun, and I leveled up. Well, I'm in 26th place. <laughs> no, this is a good game. I think it's just a matter of figuring it out. That's really what it's about, guys.
figuring it out. And I think if you're playing with other people, it can be a lot more fun. But yeah, this is definitely your typical first-person shooter, that type of thing. It's just going to be a matter of time to figure it all out. And I've even got some points to spend on my skill tree. But Super Fortress will slowly repair buildings. This is free ammo. You can purchase it. I mean, it's just stuff like... There's a lot of stuff here. But I think the thing is, is trying to figure it out. It needs to be a tutorial. At least something. Other than that, I think it's a good game. Would I put it on my top tier of games? Probably not. But I enjoyed it. I would probably give it... At the beginning, I was probably giving it two and a half, maybe three stars. But once I started figuring out, I would say at least four at this point. So it's got a lot of potential. Again, early access. I think it'll get better as it goes. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. First look at Ultimate Zombie Defense 2. Until next time, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.